what's up guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'll be showing you the ultimate jailbreak trading guide and how to master trading including some tips and tricks the one thing i want to go over is that jailbreak trading isn't paid to win there aren't any easy shortcuts to get rich fast you're gonna have to spend a lot of time and dedication to succeed before we start guys if this video hits 269 likes I am going to go ahead and give away a torpedo for free at 10,000 subscribers. So if you want to get a torpedo for free inside the game, like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. With that being said guys, let's get started. Let me just go ahead and start off by saying if you've seen the pickup to torpedo challenges, they are solely based for entertaining purposes, they aren't informative. What I mean by that is starting off with a pickup truck, the least valued car in the game that can't balance basically anything, isn't a good vehicle to start off with. You're gonna have to grind the actual game first to get better valued cars, such as a $1 million car or the concept. I'm not saying it's impossible, I'm just saying there's more efficient ways. I wouldn't really count on those type of videos to help you get from poor to rich, however, I do have a more realistic and better method to actually help you. So let's go ahead and talk about that. First of all, I said this in the beginning of the video, but jailbreak trading isn't paid to win. In fact, the balancing system prevents players from getting rich quick. It's there to make trades balanced. That doesn't mean the values are equal, just balanced. That's where tip 1 comes to play. You're gonna need to know what vehicles or items are the best for balancing trades. What I do, and I know most people do as well, so they don't actually have to give away anything for free, is add a vehicle or item. The other person does too, say the Brulee, since its balance value is extremely high, it can balance any car in the game. You both add Brulee, and along with that is your actual trade, you still have your um, Brulee, but this way it was balanced and you didn't have to add anything. If you want to give your friends something for free, you can do it this way. I know Hyperchromes can balance trades well along with Concept, M12, and Torpedo, but for some reason, not the Beam. It can barely balance any car that has less value than it. I'm not sure why. But I do understand why the developers added this. As much as we hate it, it is an essential part to the game. Without it, people would get rich way too fast and ruin the economy. For this video, I'm gonna assume you're starting off with nothing or you have some mid-tier limited vehicles. If you're rich and have a lot of cars, good for you. But anyways, you could have some inexpensive non-limited vehicles such as the Lamborghini, Challenger, Ferrari, or you could have a limited vehicle. Any of these would work, but two inexpensive items such as the pickup truck are obviously harder to trade with no one looking for it. One, because it's a car most people have. Two, it's a car they can grind for in less than a day. There would be no point in trading for it. You're gonna need a car people would at least consider trading for. Like I mentioned, the Concept, a $1 million car, the Roadster, or the Eclair as well and try to trade them for a limited vehicle since it has better demand. People would much rather see a limited item in their trade rather than a non-limited item. This will take a lot of grinding, but remember, like I said, there are no easy shortcuts. Though there is another way that I find easier and that's to grind um, the seasons that come out every two months or so. You don't even have to have the season pass to get the car though it would be useful to get the car faster and trade it away for an overpay. Getting an item early will benefit you a ton, which a lot of you should already know. Potentially cars like the Beam, Arachnid, or Torpedo. Now, let's actually get into the trading part. A helpful method that helps me find an item faster is by typing in uh, the item in this bar. Let's say the blue pixel, for example. Click on every player on the server until you find the person with it and make a trade with them and go from there. Something very crucial, again, that isn't harmful at all necessarily, but can get very annoying and will cause people to avoid you, is begging. I can't express this enough. Begging will cause people to feel uncomfortable and not accept your trade. So just don't do it. Instead, make an offer and negotiate from there. If they don't accept, find someone else. 
you should probably aim to get mid-tier limited vehicles such as the Airtail, Agent, or Torero. And from there, you can actually start trading up to get the limited cars you want. Setting a goal helped me a lot when I was grinding trading, so you should too. Set a goal for yourself, say like, I'm gonna try to get the M12 today, something like that. Next tip is to look for collectors. These type of players will overpay a lot for that specific item they're looking for, and that's a very good thing for you. If you're really in need of a specific car and you don't care about trading anymore, you just want that car, say the torpedo, you could just trade for a duped one which has less value than a non-duped, you could check if an item's duped from the username. Or finally, you could just join the torpedo giveaway at 10,000 subscribers and if you get lucky, you win yourself a free torpedo. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did or found this useful, make sure to subscribe. Comment what other methods or tips you have to get rich in jailbreak trading. See you guys in the next one.